Welcome back to our podcast, and you with me, Ness. I'm your host for this episode. Today, we will take you to explore the wild bastard art, where you will see the beauty of the cultures in Taipei, Taiwan. And of course, we have a special guest from the famous fashion art channel. Please welcome Ang Ang. Hi, it's my pleasure to be here with you. Thank you for inviting me. So, can you please introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, everyone. I am Ang Ang from the Fashion Arts Channel. Today, I'm here with Nes in this Taiwan episode. Fabulous! So, in this episode, we will dive into the colorful world of street art that can be found throughout the bustling cities and calm countryside of Taiwan within four days. So, let's get started with the day one. Before going out, we have to put on our makeup and get ready to take a photo. And the first place that we visit is Longsan Temple in Manga District. This temple consists of three halls: the fourth hall, the main hall, and the real hall. The fourth hall is used at the entrance and the space for the people to worship. And the main hall is in the center of the whole complex with a statue of Guan Yin as the important god and the symbol of the temple. And this temple is very famous for Thai people when they go to Taipei. They have to visit and buy the amulet as a gift. To wish them luck, bring happiness, wealth, and love. Our second place is Chiang Kai Shek Memorial Hall in Songshan District. This place is huge because it's what a palace in the past, but now they are open for the people to visit. At that moment, there are soldiers that have a Chiang the guarding, so we have seen how they s e e with the guard. After visiting so many places, it's time to eat. We also went to the Taipei Fish Market in Songshan District. It takes only 12 minutes by the car or the bus. At the inside, you can see the point of the sea, like the fish, the lobster, shellfish, uni, and many more. And you can buy anything you want, like sushi or sashimi. And the places here are cheaper than the restaurant. The food is so fresh and so delicious. And this is my lunch, the uni bowl with the uni and rice. It is very creamy and tasty. I really recommend this one if you come to this market. And there are a lot of sashimi that we bought to eat together, and it's also delicious and so so fresh. You should try all of this sashimi here. And for day two, Ang Ang, can you bring us to explore the street art? Yes, sure. Let me take you explore the local Taiwan street art that most people still don't know of it. According to the street art, it isn't popular that much, so we would like to suggest people to go to the cool place, which aren't that much famous, confirmed by us. First of all, I want to describe that what is street art is. Street art that can be seen in public places or in other words. On the street art, normally this type of art often go against the law of the country, because they are not displayed in the area that they are not allowed. Typically, street art is found in highly urbanized area, on highly visible sites. Sometimes, street art might send a message about a social or political issue. However, street art can also be made for the same reason as any work. Some work of street art are intended to be beautiful, as the art of art sake. However, the style of definite associate with activism by Starry.com. But this one will go to this legal to have it right. Yes, yes, it is legal. Let me explain to you. We are here in front of the art that is colorful with yellow, blue, purple, pink, and the flowers. This place is located nearby Rongxing Garden Park, which the local people not in the city. We took around 40 minutes to an hour by taking a metro and bus, which quite far from our hotel. We think this area they they were painting in the children's target, because there is a kindergarten school nearby, so it's quite feel peaceful and calm. We took so long to take the pictures with this beautiful wall, and the most of people were just walking and looking around it. Hmm, I think it's because the people around there are familiar with it. But we are tourists that are interested in art, so we're gonna take our pictures really quite long. Yeah, I think so. That was mentioned earlier that we want to suggest this place who wants interesting in art painting. Here you can see there are the sides of the street art from the wall painting. 
on this day it was rainy and it was pretty cool but we dressed reverse for the weather we dressed like we were in thailand <laughs> well you can see the street art we have taken as the we mentioned it's nearly lot of kindergarten school so the pictures is not even related to politics or even religions or it is a soft than artist the art and you know what there's also the art that i present on car too we have seen it in the street art with the car was painted cat now you can see in these pictures that it has so much popular in these communities and it's become an important part of communities eminence which have joined the trend of green smarts also in the rongsing garden park in taipei first european star landscape garden after taking the photos on this road, we went to dinner at the night market near our hotel named Rauhi Street Night Market in Songhan District. We took only 30 minutes to get to the night market, but the food was more expensive than the other night market. There are a lot of people here because they are famous on the internet and say that if foreigners come, they have to visit. You can see the temple near the market. And next, we are moving to Xinling Night Market in Xinling District. You can see there are little tiger stairs. This is an art earned billboard. It is amazing that they make a tiger out of the flame in three days while playing with the corn and clashing butterflies. So, you're with me on the dread trees, and we are going to Yingyang Si Ruifeng District. On this day, we came with our classmates and we took two to three hours by the bus. Along the way, you can see the big green mountain and the wildly blue sea. And the environment around us make us feel calm and peaceful. But unfortunately, the rain and the wind are too strong, but it can't stop us from taking a photo. After that, we go to the Golden Museum where we can touch the real big gold that brings you a luck. And everything here is made of gold and minerals. And the highlight place that we want to visit the most is Dufan on street. But the rain is heavier and the weather is so cold. However, Dufan is still beautiful as the crown and the fog over the full market. And we can see the world that looks like the humans digging rocks and carry the things. During the walk, you will see many late lanterns hanging around the market and you can see the street are in this place too. We think it's about the point of this place we had the late Latin and the post outfit that we will see in Dufan. And there are a lot of food that can make us feel warm such as noodle soup, xiao long bao or hot bubble milk tea. We are now come back to the hotel to take a rest and after that we will have a dinner at the market. So what is the name of the market Ang Ang? It is Ningqiu Night Market in Dying District. We think that most foreigners didn't know about the very local night market because one of our friends had a friend in Taipei so she recommended us to this place You can see long beef that is amazing and fried noodle that's quite similar to Thai food And you can see the tanghulu or candied fruit It is amazing with the tofu sweet that is cut and it's so good Eating this after beef is perfect and sure, we are for the street from but I remember I mentioned there are some the street art that is in the area that it is not allowed. We think we found it just like this. On the last day of good weather in Taiwan, we are going to the one of the landmark in Taiwan, Shaping Fresh and Harbors in Keelung City. We took a bus for one hour. This place is main fishing port of Taiwan. During the Japanese colonies, the colors of the buildings are so picturesque and make the ports more lively and the impact of the water shadow when taking a photo cause the light to hit the building, making light play with the camera very well. After this, we go to Hao Thong Kek village by the local train. It takes 40 minutes from the new Taipei city. There are a lot of cats that we are going to play with. And yes, we have street art pictures of cat to show to you guys. It is the cat's village. Of course, the streets are the mainly about cat. It is located on the sidewalk in the village that makes everyone see it when they are going to the village. After that, we went back to Simon Thing, which you can see on the road. The video that you see, this is me on that road. 
is the art that's showing the LGBTQ of the rainbow colors that's on the street. And it is writing the word Taipei. This is also one of the street art that represents the community of LGBTQ in Taiwan. This has been called Rainbow Six. At the exit number six of Seaman MRT station, symbolizing Taipei City respect human rights, and its active effort is promoting sex equality and gender friendliness. As you know, Taiwan is the first country in Asia that you can legally have a same-sex marriage. Also, we see the street art in the metro that come back from Cementin Market too. Thank you a lot, Ang Ang, to share your experiences with us today. It's great to have you here today. I'm glad to be here, Ka. You can invite me anytime, and I'm really happy to share my experiences. And now it's time to say goodbye in this episode. We hope you get a suggestion from us. So in the end of this journey, tell me that traveling with friends had a different vibe from traveling with others. It gave us good memories and unforgettable experiences. And we need to thank you to our professors who gave us a good opportunity to be able to experience new cultures and new places. We will absolutely gain a lot of knowledge after this. And I hope that we will see you next time. See ya.